welcome back to my channel. Today's video is another synthetic wig review. This wig is Bobby Boss's Shirley and I have it in the color FS4 slash 30. So if you guys wanna see how I styled it and whether or not I think that this wig is worth your coin, let's go ahead and jump into today's video. I am back and I am done styling Shirley. This unit is so, so freaking cute. I can't get over it. Now, when I pulled it out of the box, I was like, oh my goodness, I have my work cut out for me. She is going to need a little bit of love, a little bit of patience, and a little bit of cutting, <laughs> okay? This is not how Shirley comes straight out of the box. She comes already styled as a left side part. I just was not feeling it on me. And I saw Shining Star review this maybe a week or so ago and she kind of has some bangs. So I was like, you know what? I want some bangs. And it was really easy to do. The hair moves really nicely. It wasn't molded as a side part because it's so full. You could easily manipulate the hair to create a bang. And then I just went in with my shears and I started chopping away to, you know, create this shape. Real quick, don't mind the foundation on my shirt. I'm so mad at myself and I have to go to Boohoo and get another mustard tea because I know this is ruined. It didn't take much to create this shape. It kind of already comes in like this very round, natural looking shape. But obviously when I shifted the hair, I did get a few pieces that needed to be trimmed just so that they fit within the shape. I'm actually really shocked that I like this wig because like I said, when I pulled it out of the box, I was just not feeling it. And I was like, well, guess I'm not filming today. And then I was like, you know what? Let me actually give it a fighting chance. I also really think that it would look super cute with like a headband or a head wrap and kind of push the back away from your face and just leave the bang. I love how that looks. I actually did a tutorial about a year or so ago on how to do that with your natural hair. I will link that in the cards for you guys if you wanna check it out. You can do the same thing with the wig. It's super easy. All you need is a scarf. I actually have my leopard one that would kind of match but I don't feel like doing it right now. So this wig does come with medium brown lace. Obviously, I'm not worried about the hairline or anything like that because I have bangs, but the hairline did look pretty nice. It looked a little bit pre-plucked. The parting space was really nice. It is a left side part if I didn't mention that already. The color that I have is FS4 slash 30 and I love when curly wigs have some highlights to it. The texture is bomb. It feels really nice. I do think that it is a little bit on the drier side. I really wish that synthetic wig companies could figure out a way to mimic natural hair, but not make it feel dry. Because my natural hair is not dry all the time. You know what I'm saying? Like when I have it done, if I was gonna do a rod set on my hair, first of all, it would not look like this. But if I was going to do a rod set, my hair would not be dry. Maybe on like the third or fourth day, but a fresh rod set, it should be very moisturized and soft. So I really wish that they could get that figured out because I'm kind of like not loving the dry texture. You know what I'm saying? And even with it being at this length and sitting right on my shoulders and on my neck, it doesn't feel scratchy, but when you touch it, it does feel a little bit dry. So I would like them to kind of like go back to the drawing board and figure out how we can insert some moisture 
into these synthetic wigs. As far as shedding and tangling goes, y'all, I'm not running my fingers through this wig. I feel like that is a given. And if you are somebody who is going to buy this wig and run their fingers through it and then get mad when it tangles, I have questions. This wig does shed because I didn't cut any of this hair back here and I'm getting, oh, ooh, damn, that's a lot of shedding. <laughs> The cap feels amazing on my head. I have a large head. I tell you guys that in every single video and it fits me really, really nicely. I don't have on my wig grip and I feel like I could go in and adjust the adjustable straps. I don't know if there's anything else that I forgot to mention. If I did and you have a question, leave it down in the comments below. If you guys enjoyed this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. That really helps my channel out and subscribe if you have not already and I will see you guys in my next video.